Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. Talk about the Ricoh printers and using an IP address to configure your driver settings. So uh, if you have an IP, if you're using an IP in your uh, Ricoh printer assigned through the menu, which there is a video to show you how to do that um, through your network settings, then your IP address should be uh, in your printer at this time. So um, at this point, to add a printer using that IP address, we would uh, go up here and click on Add Printer, and we're going to add a, um, a network wireless printer. And I'm just going to go ahead and click. Uh, it wasn't listed, and so I'm going to use uh, Add Printer using TCP slash IP address host name. I'm going to click Next, and so now I need to know my IP address, and I do. So I'm going to type in here what that is, and it's usually always going to be 192.168.1. And this is the unique part of it is uh, 181. And I'm going to click Next. And so now it's going to uh, look for the IP, the printer, using that IP address that's assigned to my network and um, my driver it's going to try to uh, locate it using the recommended um, uh, driver uh, that's currently installed or I can choose to replace it I already have my driver installed so I'm going to click next and it knows that this is the gel spinner GX7000 so I'm going to click next and it's going to install the printer and add it to my folder and so at this point it's asking me if I want to share the printer and I do not however if if you do you would use these settings here so I'm gonna click next and now it's telling me I have successfully added my gel spinner GX7000 and uh, asking me if I want to do a test print which to, to um, if you want to verify your printer is installed and communicating well you would test print the page I'm going to click finish and so now I'm going to see that my gel spinner GX7000 is added to my printer folder using the IP address that I have entered into the printer so again if you if you need to know how to enter the IP address there's a video uh, that shows you how to enter IP address using your uh, menu through your GX7000 and uh, for you people using a network this would be a, a good way to install your printer using IP. So again, your, if you have any questions or any concerns on how to do this, if you want to know where those videos are, um, additional videos concerning this, uh, look on the Condi TV site and you will find them there. And if you can't find them, of course, get with us here at Condi Tech Support, 1-800-826-6332. And um, we can help you out with that as well. So once your driver is installed, of course, if you're using Dysublimation, you would uh, uh, right click and go in here and configure your driver settings. And uh, to do that for Windows 7 people, you'd go to Printer Properties and uh, Color Management and XP, you would uh, just uh, add your ICC profile from the color management tab but Vista and Windows 7 people you have to double you have to click on the color management again drop down find your printer and add your ICC profile if it's not there this is how you would do it you find it in here and add it mine's already added so I'm going to cancel out you're going to left click on advanced start print job after last page is spooled uh, so we want to click that for quality reasons it's going to give us our best output left click on general left click on preferences and left click on inkjet plain paper left click on user settings change and use air diffusion turn off color management if you're using the Condi ICC setting uh, left click on miscellaneous, left click on print as bitmap, click OK, OK, 
to your printer configuration setting and we're going to deselect the auto reduce left click on um, Sorry, you're in your printer config configuration settings. We're going to add a custom paper size. For you people who have a bypass tray, you would do this. If you don't have a bypass tray, um, um, then you don't need to do this particular part. But uh, for you people who do, you have 10 custom paper settings in here that you can um, create. Make sure your bypass tray is selected here and then go and enter your long edge and you can do that by typing 19 and then tab and enter 13 tab and uh, your measurements of course is an inch or millimeter and mine was an inch so it worked out and then you want to save your setting and I call it 13 by 19 and then of course you have the option to use this portrait or landscape and we'll click OK um, back to my setup tab, left click on save, and I'm going to type Condi ICC. And then I'm going to click OK, apply, and OK, and apply, and OK. So now I have created a custom, a custom uh, configuration for dye sublimation using the Condi ICC profile um, and also I have configured a setting for my custom paper size for those people having the bypass tray that's an accessory that you would have purchased in addition to the 7000 printer and then the uh, keep in mind we do have a tray 2 accessory that you can purchase as well um, and also I have shown you how to add your printer using an IP address uh, through your uh, printer folder on PC. So again, if you have any questions about how to do this, you can call us here at Condi. My name is Vicki, and as always, I thank you for your time.